Okay, this is a recording to show you how to make a user and then create them a website. What you're going to do first is you're going to go to your website, the Diamond Realty DFW site, and you're going to log in and you're going to see your dashboard. On the dashboard, what's going to happen is you're going to go to My Office and then Platinum User Management. Once you get to Platinum User Management, you're going to click on Add User. And then you're going to fill in these spots here, here, here. You're going to pick a security question. Typically, I choose what is the name of the street you grew up on, Main Street. The first one is their email address, password. And the password has to be a secure password, which usually includes at least eight characters, one capital, one not capital, one number, and one character, like a period, a percentage, a dollar sign, anything like that. Then you're going to put their first name here, their last name here. You can fill in their job title, work phone, mobile, pager, fax, address, city, state, and everything here. You can choose the drop down and choose your time zone here. And make sure this button is checked on show this user on our associates directory. You can also then click on upload your photo, in which case another box will pop up. And you can then choose the photo of the agent. So for instance, if I chose Becky, which she's already got an account right now, however, we're going to go ahead and add her in there just for demonstration purposes. After you've gone ahead and created the user, you're going to click Save, Add User. Once you've done that, it will save the user and then you can hit Close and they will appear in here. After you've added the user, you can come back and click Edit User to open that account up to make any changes later on. In addition, you can come in over here and click Biography, and you can type in any biography you want here. And after you've done that, you're going to hit Save. It'll tell you, OK, the information has been saved. It'll pop up right here. And after you hit OK, you're going to hit Close. That will save it entirely. After you've created your user, you're going to come up here to My Office and you're going to click on Excite Accounts. What I've done here is I've tried to make this very easy for you. All of these are just junk sites. They're silver sites that are free that I've developed um, when I was testing the site out. These main ones, these five down here, are your primary sites. You're going to, the Diamond Realty Control site is the main site and this is where you're going to start. The agents should have looked at this point at all of the designs that we've offered them using these tabs. So you can tell them to look at these sites and say which one do you like best. Let's say that they like site design number two. Or site, here we go, site design number two. Okay, let's go with site design number one. This has a nice Dallas theme to it, um, and the background, the, the Diamond Realty sign is in all of them, and everything fits within it. So if they decide they want Diamond Realty site number one, you're going to go back to your admin, and you're going to open up the control site first. So to do that, you're going to go all the way over here to the right, and you're going to click Log In. This will open up a second admin on top of the one that you're already open, they already have open. Once you've logged into the second admin, what you're going to do is you're going to go mouse over the word X site, and then you're going to go down here and click on Snapshot. Inside here, you're going to see these four designs that I've created here. You're going to look for Gold Agent Design 1, and you're going to come over here and you're going to click Restore. It's going to ask you to continue, and then you're going to hit Restore this Snapshot. It'll take a couple minutes for the snapshot to restore. Well, it'll probably take about one minute for it to restore. You'll watch it go through this process here.
After the site is completely restored, it'll tell you, congratulations, your snapshot has been successfully restored, and you can close it. If you want to double check to see if you're on the right site, you can click go over X site and then click on My X site, and it'll open up a tab that shows you the control site is now set up correctly. So now that the control site is set up to the template that we want it to be on, we're going to go back to the original admin for the Platinum site, and we're going to go, we're going to choose Site Creation Template. Usually I like to click out of this and then click back into it. So I clicked on Platinum User Management and then I went back to X Site Account, especially if I'm switching around the templates for the control site. I'll do that just to make sure it's refreshed. And then the drop down, you're going to choose Diamond Realty Control Site. And then you're going to click Create This Site. It's going to ask you, do you want to do a gold level or a silver level? In your case, you're going to do a gold level. I'm going to do a silver level right now just for demonstration purposes because it's free. And I click Submit one time. Do not click it more than once. And it's going to tell you a new site has been created. And this is the new site right here. After the new site has been created, you're going to go over and you're going to click Log In. And it's going to open up a third admin panel. All the admin panels look generally the same. After it logs you in, you're going to click on X site up here and it's going to put you into the wizard. So here is step one of the wizard. And you're going to go ahead and jump directly to step two by hitting next right here. And then you're just going to come over here where the agent photo is, check the box that is, says include my photo, check the link that says upload your photo, and you should Okay, ignore what's going on right now. It's just my browser security. You may have that warning yourself. It just allow pop-ups. I'm going to go back to step two. Check include my photo. And then you're going to check upload your photo. Another pop-up is going to come up. And your fo agent's photo that you uploaded when you were creating the user should already be in here. So you can find that agent's photo in here. And if it's not, you can click Add New File. And another pop-up will come up where you can browse your computer for the file. Let's say I want one upload it keep in mind that whatever the name of the photo is you need to pay attention to that because that's what's going to show up here under the file library so this one is number three dot jpg after it's finished uploading it'll refresh the file library I'll go in there and I will find the photo and then I will hit OK the photo will then appear here. It was a rather large photo that I uploaded, so it might take a moment. But it will appear here. It's better if you have a photo that is a smaller size, because the bigger the photo, the longer it takes to upload into the site. After you've done that, you just want to click Save. And then it's saved. It's all set to go. Also, one of the things you can do in here you may notice with different designs that the Diamond Realty sign is in a kind of different place. So you can always move it around just by clicking on it and dragging it to wherever you want it to be. In addition, down here, there's some words that you can add if you choose. Change the text, the color of the font, to black. And then the font should show up up here on the top. Where it is... Oh, actually, you got to check this box and it'll show up here and then you can put this somewhere else. 
change the size of the font, and you can put it right in here. And if you want to put the agent's name in there instead, you can put Agent X. And again, you can click right on it and drag it to the spot you want it to be. And if you don't want that to show up, just go ahead and uncheck this box right here again. Once you're done with your changes, hit Save, and the site should be done. After you're done, you can test it by mousing over X Site, and then clicking on My X Site. The site will again open up in a new window. And now you should see your new site. One other thing to note, once you're in here too, the agents will want a domain name. So to, find, to get a domain name, you're going to go to the step that is manage domains. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, step eight. But I like to just click on manage domains right over here. Once you go to manage domains, it's going to give you the chance to register a new domain. These come with all of your sites. The silvers and the gold get a free domain name. So you're going to come here and you're going to click manage and purchase domains. It's going to open up a pop-up window. And once that pop-up window is opened, you can go ahead and type in any domain you want and check availability and it will tell you if that domain is in fact available. This one's not. I can choose .net, .org, .info, .biz, whatever you want. So try different things and then you just click register this domain and it registers and should work within just a couple of minutes. And that is the end of Blossom.